everybody, I am SimsPretty and welcome to part 17, yes, of Let's Play The Sims 3 Han Lexi Challenge. Wow, I talked really fast on the intro, but you know what? I don't care. So, yeah, we're just picking on up in the morning, and it's almost Kale's birthday, and almost Jessica's birthday, because they're both going to age up on the same day. So maybe we'll age up Kale, or I think we'll age up Kale once the baby comes, because if we didn't know, Sophia is pregnant. Oh, the shower is filthy. But Sophia, look at that little prego belly. But she's going to be cooking up some waffles for the family, because we've basically been living off peanut butter cookies for a while. And he wants a new hairstyle, but I like his hair. I don't think I want to change it yet. And could you clean this up? I would like that. Jessica has school really soon, so she's just gonna sing to her little toy, being all cutesy. We've got this Tiberium growing. Oh, and this part is pre-filmed also. Just pre-filming for the week, so. Does there, why is there like a hole in the ceiling? Hold on, what is this? What is this? Why does it look like that? <laughs> why? That's a little weird. Oh, is it? I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, whatever. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't even know. I think he works today, though. Yeah, he does, and he's feeling a little bit ill, so why don't you get ready for the day, shower, and then work out for a little bit. Just do some strength. Yeah, do that. And don't break a sweat. So, yes, yeah, she has school. She's going to go do that. And I believe she finished her homework, or at least she better have. Yes, she did. Good. She was about to be tackled by Yuna. Gosh. Sophia is just cooking on up some breakfast for the whole family. I think, did I say waffles? I guess she's making pancakes. I thought I had her do waffles. I guess not. And I have to make sure she doesn't make either um, watermelon or apple pancakes. That is important because I don't want... The gender of the baby to be affected. Okay, what are these? Great pancakes. They are fine for her to eat then. And it is hailing, actually. What a lovely spring morning. Well, I think it's hailing. Pretty sure that's hail. So she's going to eat that. And then we'll put away the leftovers. And then Kale is getting kind of lonely. So, Anthony, why don't you finish teaching him how to talk? Because he is so close to learning how to talk. Just, like, so close. <laughs> They're so cute. And Sophia got a wish to meet someone new. So maybe today she could go to the park or something and, I don't know, meet someone new. I think that's a really interesting wish. It's not a very nice day out, but why doesn't she go to the summer festival? Just on her own, honestly. Just to get some time away from the baby, even though she did just go on a date yesterday. But to meet someone new. I think that's a really cool wish. Meet a new friend. So she's going to meet her new friends, and Anthony will spend some time with the baby until he has to go to work, or the baby, Kale, he's a toddler now, I should stop calling him a baby, I probably offended, offended in him, offended in him, I probably offended him, I can't speak, don't ask why, um, you need to use the bathroom, okay, good job, do we have any mail, whoa, okay then, and then pay the bills after that, our bills are getting pretty expensive, so that's not that good. No, it is not. Okay. Let's get over here to Sophia. And are you taking Anthony's car? Why are you taking his car? You got your own car, darling. Some people say that B Beatrice, Beatrice Gills Carbo has a terrible guilty secret. Could it really be true? Uh, I don't know. Oh, my lunch is ready. I have to eat lunch. And then we will resume with this part. Even though it will seem like no time at all for you. But I have to eat. Okay. That is unimportant. Look at that Bella. She is humongous. I feel like we're having twins or triplets. I mean like look at that belly. She is massive. I don't think she can skate while she's pregnant. Okay guys. I gotta eat lunch. I'll be back. I am back. I ate lunch. That, that was fun. Okay. So. Let's get right back into gameplay. So. So, 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 so. She can't do too much here because she's pregnant. But ask to be kissed. Want to do that? Is this like an old man? No, it's not. He's not very good looking though, so that is a thing. And it looks like there's a bunch of Easter eggs here. So once Jessica gets home from school, she can head over here and meet her mom and do some Easter egg hunting. I think that'd be pretty cute. And there's some metal over here she can collect. 
<laughs> they kissed. How cute. It's kind of creepy, but kind of cute. You know, you know that feel. And there's some cosmos here that we can go ahead and pick. If we can. There we go. I think I'm just going to have her pick the cosmos because I don't want her to get an allergy haze. That wouldn't be good. There's really not too much to do at these festivals. Is this a gnome? Can we take this? We can. Yes. And she found some silver. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's kind of what we got going on. And then after that, I don't even know. Is that your phone? Go ahead, answer your phone. And he taught Kale how to talk. Good job, Anthony. Um, yeah, we can talk to Jen. I like that idea. And let's sell those Cosmos. Actually, I don't know if he picked them yet. I don't think he did. Oh, oh, is that who I think it is? It is! Oh my gosh, we haven't seen these guys in town anywhere. It's Orchid! I have to change your outfit into every day, though. So, basic outfit every day. This is Orchid, and I'm sure you guys know her from my... What's it called? My Ambitions Let's Play. She is, of course, a plant sim, as you can tell by the trail of flowers going behind her. And she ended up getting married to Logan, so... Or, their boyfriend and girlfriend. It doesn't look like they've gotten married yet, so... Oh, is she gonna ask to be kissed? And we got our Palladium. Oh my goodness! Valentina's husband sent Sophia a love letter saying, I know this is coming out of nowhere. I just move my pop filter a little bit. I know this is coming out of nowhere, but I think you should... Excuse me. You should take a chance on me. I'm a lot of fun, and I think we'd be great together. I think he's even an elder. Like, that is disgustingly creepy. Just don't even go there. So, yeah, this is how Orchid grew up. She's beautiful. Like, she is one of the prettiest, like, sims. Because, you know, the plant sims are pretty much just randomized sims. So, for her being, like, basically randomized, she's gorgeous. Oh, and Jen is here, too. Who is she pregnant? I think she might be pregnant. Or I just uninstalled her dress. Yeah, I think she, I just uninstalled her outfit. I really got to give her a massive makeover. And Anthony has work in an hour. Could you take care of your child? I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, thank you. You are. Yeah, is. So she met someone new. Or it could, could be, like, one of her good friends. I really like that idea. And then, why don't you tell her you're pregnant? You know, I think that's kind of cool. I mean, I think she could tell, unless she thinks that you're, like, obese. But then we can tell her a funny story and make a silly face. My brother's, like, making a bunch of noise. What is that? Okay, it stopped. I don't even know. Oh, is she married to Logan? Oh, they got married little cuties. Look at her massive belly. She's like one of the most pregnant sims I've ever seen. Like, she is huge. Like, that baby is coming any second now. Why don't you do some dancing together? Her and her little pregnant belly. Actually, that's gonna take too long. I want her to go over to the bookstore. And I want her to... Get some books for these guys to read, because I feel like sometimes I don't have anything to do. But I still want you to visit the festival to collect some eggs. And you're going to work, but take your own car. You got it. Well, actually, I think Sophia took your car, huh? Call the babysitter. And let's sell our palladium. That is worth a bunch of money. Well, I think it's about a bunch. Okay, I don't know why you have his car, but whatever. Go to work. So has our Tiburum, no it hasn't grown yet, I don't know if it'll grow anymore. We might have to go, I'm gonna try this. Oh, well now he's in the car. <laughs> I, I chose a bad person. Oh, that's the babysitter, I was like, where did he just come from? Like faux reels though, faux reels. Okay, I'm gonna skip it till he gets to work so I can drag this out of the inventory. Jessica Han would like to go over to Malcolm Thau's after school. Oh, I think that might be our cousin. Maybe. Oh my gosh, get to work so I can do this. Are you shopping for books? You should get here soon. Okay. So, let's have you get some... Let's get this one, this one, 
and that one. And then we can get some recipe books. So let's get this one, this one, um, get that, hot and sour soup, and then a fruit parfait. Okay, so we'll go ahead and buy those. And then I think I'm just going to have her go home. Like, she doesn't really need to be out anymore. And since I do think she'll be having this baby any minute now. Of course, here at work. So how is Kale? He's just sitting on the floor. So since she got those books, I think he can read them now. So let's just get out bluish eggs with a side of pastrami. That sounds familiar. Just kidding. Sounds like green eggs and ham, obviously. So he's going to go ahead and read that book so he can get smarter. And I actually found this out, I think, that toddlers could do this from an ex Urban Sims X video, I believe. It was in her video, and I totally did not know they could read it on their own. But they can, so I think that's a really good pastime for the babies. So she, he's going to do that. <laughs> I almost called Kale Girl. That would be offensive. Maybe, kind of. Oh, who left trash in, like, the middle of the bathroom? That's nice. Okay, are you at that festival lot? Yeah. Where are you going? Okay. Wait, why are you in the city? What are you doing? Oh, you're going over to... Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. You're going over to this kid's house, maybe. Actually, I have no clue where you're going. You're going to Malcolm's house. Who? Wait. Malcolm has the same last name confused. <laughs> Malcolm is rich though, so um, I don't know, maybe we get with him. A lot of children, obviously. Oh, oh okay, you're not going to let me see inside? Just, that's out of the question. There we go. So can we go to floor level 18? Oh, is this Malcolm? Hold on. We gotta pause the game and check out if this is Malcolm. This is Malcolm. And I think he's a boy, but he has a girl hair. He's actually really good looking. Like, I think he's pretty good looking anyway. So let's actually check out his family tree. It's not under advanced though. Is it under basic? It is, okay. So yeah, this is, oh, okay, so we can't get with him, obviously. Oh, they have two kids. Okay, who's making that noise? Hold on. I don't even know. It's weird. You probably can't hear it. They have two kids. They have Malcolm and a new little baby called Dalma. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, why did they move? Why are we in this apartment? Like, did you just decide to take us here? Or is this like a thing? I don't really get it. Like, why are we just in some random person's house? Because I feel like we are. Why can't we go inside their residence? Oh gosh, okay. You know what, can we call residence? Call Valentina, please. What do you wanna do? She wants to go on a field trip. We might do that, we'll have to see. La la la. Da, 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 da. No good wishes here. Okay. Why don't I check on you? Get inside. Oh, why were you outside? Did I tell you to go outside? I don't think I did. Oh, Valentina isn't even home right now. Dude, just like, can you do your homework? Do your homework with Malcolm. And Kale has finished his book. How cute. Okay. Well, why don't we have Sophia feed you in the high chair? And you can stop reading the book because you learned everything from it. I really like that. I totally did not know that. How did I not know that? I don't, I don't even understand. It's been a, like a horrible spring weather. It's just been hailing. And I feel like she should be having these babies or this baby or babies any moment now because she is a massive. So I think what I'm going to have her do, oh, does you, do you need to be bathed? You do. Okay. Well, I'm going to let her do that then, even though I don't think she'll be able to get to it. So I'll probably have to move it out of the way. Or maybe they can suddenly. My arm hurts from like legitimately not moving it because I filmed like three videos in a row other than eating lunch. Like I seriously, my arm has been in the same placement for like ever now. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to move this. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the big empty room over here. Oh, okay. Perfect. Go ahead, bathe pet, bathe bow. Um, Anthony has met Ulysses Ernst. What a beautiful name. At work. So, I think the next time after this that he goes to work, I'll have him, like, chat, hang with his team members, because he does need to work on that. But for now, I think he just needs to get to know them. So, Lacey is our boss. This is Ulysses. I don't know how to say his name. I don't know. And that is just what we have going on. Okay, once you're done, go here. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and move the bathtub back to its original placement. And then why don't you clean the house? Or first, before you do that, go ahead and put your child in the crib. And then clean the house. And, whoa, you need some help on your needs. So let's have you... Hold on. You need to chew on this. You need to pee out here. You then need to eat some food. And how's Yuna? Yuna is, of course, lonely, like always. So, we'll deal with that in a little bit. Jessica's curfew is in an hour. Okay, then go home. Did you finish your homework? You did! Yay! Round of applause. I hope you like my round of applause. You should appreciate it, Jessica. You should appreciate it. And she wants to become friends with Malcolm. I, I think Malcolm's a boy. I'm still not quite sure. Um, I don't know why she's so close with Darla. I think it's because she's her teacher, but it's a little weird. And apparently, like, Valentina's family is rich. Like, how much is our house worth? Like, how much? Um, our house furnished is worth $79,000. So I guess, or simoleons. So I suppose that's a pretty good amount. But once she gets home, she can just eat some peanut butter cookies and then sleep. You gonna clean the house? Um, we don't want to play with fluffs, so... Yeah. And Anthony is on his way home. This place is so dead that even ghosts and mummies won't hang out here. There's got to be a better place to go. Well, good thing we're not going out to a bar tonight. Just a thought. Just a thought. I feel like she's going to have this baby really late because she tried for a baby at like midnight. So, you know what I should have you do? I should have you sleep. You, I really should have had you sleep super early because... I thought you were having this baby in the middle of the night, so that would have been a really good thing to do. But I'm gonna have her sleep. Faye? No, Faye. Faye, no. Faye was an. Blind nauseous. Oh, the Tiberium in your inventory. I'll get it out. I'll get it out. I was like, you pregnant, boo? Is he pregnant? I don't know if this is gonna grow any bigger. It might. I don't think it is, because it's not doing that little thing. Okay, now it is. Is it large? Sorry, boo. I didn't mean to make you nauseous. Socialize with this cat, though. Socialize with this cat. Go ahead and talk to her. Feed her a treat. Let sniff hand. And then talk to her again. And then you need to jump into bed. <gasps> there we go. The baby is coming. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Yuna's going to have to wait. I'm so excited. <gasps> I'm like nervous. Like I'm legitimately nervous for this. <sighs> I'm like freaking out. Mm. She's gonna make the bed though. Like obviously her priorities are definitely in order. Get out of bed. You're taking her to the hospital. Go to the hospital. Shoot, she's hungry. I should have had her eat. Go to the hospital. Thank you. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Where's Jessica? Oh, she's eating a peanut butter cookie. Seriously though, go to sleep. I am, like, so excited. No, stop. D you're gonna scream, aren't you? <laughs> oh my gosh, calm yourself. Just, it's okay. It's okay. Just deep breaths. You're not even having the baby. Or don't clean it up. Eat it. Just eat the cookie. Eat the peanut butter cookie. And then sleep. Call the babysitter. Sleep. Just get to bed. Get to bed. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> and we're taking the fast car. That is good. I don't know why I'm, like, so excited right now have to see if it's just gonna be one baby or two or three I really hope it's not three I don't think I want that but like two would be nice or just one would be nice 
if we have three, if we have triplets, there's no way we're having any other kids. If we have two, then we probably won't have any other kids. Maybe. We'll have to see. And if we have one, then we'll probably have another kid. Probably. She's in an awful mood. Like, legitimately, we're not going to get to pick these babies' traits. Even though we wouldn't have either way because I would have had to randomize them. But it's just a thought. Because she's, like, exhausted. Ugh, I should have had her sleep. I didn't even think about that. Stupidness. Okay. I know she's about to have the baby, but I have to come over here and check on Kale, because he's, like, starving. Or, no, he's not starving. He's smelly, and the babysitter ain't doing anything. So, you gonna, gonna get your diaper changed? Yes, hello, Nicholas. I think you were, like, just here today, but, um, come back and change our baby's diaper. Yes, please. <gasps> A new baby girl! I'm so excited. So, she has been born with the athletic trait, just like her sister, and just like Anthony. That's actually perfect. So, I don't actually have any name suggestions from you guys, but I think I'll check on the part where I asked for name suggestions for Kale, and also just look at um, nameberry.com, and I'll be back once I have a name picked out. Holy cow, guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I have decided that I'm going to be naming her... And I'm not clicked in the text box, so it helps. Veronica, and I hope I spelled that right. I should probably double check. Veronica. Yes, I did. Okay. We are good. I'm going to accept that. And we got to randomize, so here we go. Evil. That is a horrible trait. Ah! But I am sticking true to what I'm supposed to do, and that rhymed, and now I feel proud. Okay. So let's see what's going on over here. Are we having more than one? Another girl! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Twins! I need to pick out another name. Well, there was another one. She's on board the heavy sleeper trait, and there was another name I had in mind, and I think I should go with it. Well, there's two, and I have to decide which one I'm going to use. I'm either going to do Annalise or Amelia. I think I'm feeling Amelia. I mean, maybe that's just because of X Urban Sims X, um generations let's play but I want to name her Amelia I just like a lot in that sentence and I want to make sure I spelled that right too yes I did that's good and I want to look in the comments one more time before I do that for sure or I like Amy too that's a really pretty name I'm so bad at picking names I think I'm just gonna leave it Amelia or Amy Amelia I'm gonna leave it Amelia Okay, randomize. Perceptive. That is certainly not a bad trait at all. I mean, it's not the best trait. <gasps> oh, good. We're not having triplets. I was like, I cannot deal with triplets. Well, guys, we have new twin baby girls. Let's take a quick look at them. This is Veronica. So she definitely, I think they both have Sophia's skin tone, actually. But they look like they have, like, the darker version of her skin tone. So this is Veronica. And that it is a mod that I use so the babies can look like this. I don't know what exactly it's called, but if you just looked up, like, Sims 3 infant, I don't know, infant mods, probably it'll come up. And then this is Amelia, so this is what she looks like. A lot like her sister, actually. But we'll have to see once they age up to toddlers, and Anthony looks quite evil there. That's really nice really nice Anthony so now our kids are Jessica Kale Amelia and Veronica so I'm gonna check how long this part is before I say anything else okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead and end this part right here she wants to throw a birthday party for Jessica that could be really quite fun so I think I will probably age up Kale's just so that we'll have one baby less to take care of in the next part, of course. And maybe Jessica in the next part. Maybe. We'll have to see. But, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. I will talk to you guys later. I'm super, 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 super excited to start playing with the twins. But, yeah. So, bye.